All right, we're going to explain what's going down with Lil Nas X. I know it's a very hot topic right now. It's very it's very polarizing. And to be completely honest, Rhea and I, as a unit, just don't feel that passionately about this in any direction. Like, I, it's, I know it's, it's exploding and people are either okay with it or very upset with it. For us, we're going to explain to you guys what's going down. If you are seeing Lil Nas is trending and you don't really understand why or what's happening, we're going to explain it for you. But to be completely honest, I I don't have like a burning feeling about this one way or another. I think, Rhea, you can uh, agree with me on on that. So Yeah, I agree. So he released his new song, uh, Montero, Call Me By Your Name, on Friday along with the new video. The video is highly CGI animated. Like it's this whole story. He's, you know, in he's, he's playing like this fantasy character, you know, he he's evolving and he's got all these different looks and images, but the part that has everyone freaking out is he rides down a pole into hell and what looks like Satan is giving Satan kind of like a lap dance situation. And this really, really has people upset. Um, It has people upset about their children and their children seeing this and devil worshiping and Satan and, and all of these discussions. Uh, He also created this sneaker that is a Nike shoe. It was not made by Nike. Like this company bought the shoes, customized the shoes and are reselling them in a collaboration that blew up because, you know, Nike freaked out about the whole thing. So like Nike is now selling this company that is, is suing Nike is suing. I meant to say is suing this company. Um, Cause it's like a Satan shoe. It has, you know, the devil's numbers and it's got a pentagram on it. The, the whole, the whole thing. And Lil Nas has been all over Twitter replying to people, talking about it, going back and forth um, with fans and with not fans because it's really became like a national conversation. It was there's news stories about it. You turn on your, you know, the 10 o'clock news, they're talking about it. It's created quite a conversation. Yeah, it definitely has. And I just feel like, I don't care that much. You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't offend me. I yeah. don't care what Lil Nas X is doing or riding yeah. down on a devil's dick or whatever he it is that he's doing. Because to me, I don't think that this is the first time. Well, I know it's not the first time that a celebrity or an artist or a singer or somebody has put the devil inside of their music or their art or whatever it is that they put out. So right. that's why I didn't find it that shocking. Like, I wasn't like, whoa, he's talking about the devil and he's using, you know, you know, CGI of the devil right. and putting out these Satan shoes. Like, it just didn't seem so weird to me, but it obviously is offending other people yeah. greatly. Greatly. And, you know, they could be offended by it. Like, nobody's like, I'm not going to tell people to not be offended by it if if they feel so strongly about their religion. You know, you for can, sure. Like, if that's how you feel, that's how you feel. But personally, I am not offended. And I think Lil Nas X should just do whatever the hell he wants, right? If he wants to do that, because I think what he was implying was, you know, the Catholic Church was so against gay people that he's now like, okay, I am putting myself in where you guys would say I would be, right? Like with the devil in hell. Right. So I get the I get the meaning behind it. And right. that's why I'm like, well, if that's how Lil Nas X feels, that's how he feels. And if he wants to put that out there, then he should be able to put that out there. But I also understand how some people would be offended by it and they can be offended, but I'm not. Yeah. And you're not. So, yeah. Yeah. And, you know, he has ex- he explained kind of how he was feeling and how he was made like what he was made to think of himself as um, as a gay kid and is just kind of like flipping the script a little bit. Um, Now the, the children argument, it's, it's crazy because, you know, there's a lot of discussion around like, well, O-Town Road, it's a child, like 
it's every kid's favorite song and they sing it all the time and they love Lil Nas X and Lil Nas X demographic is like a younger fan base and younger kids, young impressionable kids and uh, going on YouTube and seeing this video. And I just, first of all, like if you're worried about what your child is going to see on the internet, monitor what your child is seeing on the internet i just because let me tell you this music video or whatever Lil nas x is putting out isn't gonna be like there's to the worst thing that your kid is gonna find on the internet your kids watching terrifying things on the internet your kids 12 years old they're on pornhub typing in you know whatever they want anal (laughs) lesbian scissoring fucking anything you can find so much bad shit on the internet and on YouTube where like if if you're if you're worried like hey my child um is going to be surfing YouTube and this music video is going to come up there's some there's some crazy shit that you can see on YouTube that you might not mm-hmm. want your child to see and uh, maybe it, a David Dobrik video yeah exactly you know there's there's some some dark there's some dark influences and you know if you saw this video and you think I don't want um, I don't want my child or anyone in my family watching this or seeing this. Okay, then that's okay. You, 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 and your family will no longer be listening to Lil Nas X. Okay, you know, it, but um, it is blown up to really such a crazy level that I didn't think uh, it would, and maybe Lil Nas X thought it would or 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 wouldn't. But and, and I guess it is because he is younger and has the younger demographic that it has pissed people off more because he, it like you said, Rhea, it's not the first time there has been a devil or devil worshiping or anything like that in, in music or in pop culture. Um, people talking about this is not the first time, but he is, he is younger and, you know, Old Town Road, everybody loves Old Town Road. So... They think like, I guess maybe if you if you (laughs) if you've watched the Old Town Road music video a billion times and your YouTube algorithm is going to pop out this next music video right at the top of your feed every time you go on and you don't want to see it. Don't watch it. That's all. Yeah. And honestly, I think that this is going to be a thing that blows up for a little while and then people will go back to listening to Lil Nas X. Yeah. And I mean, like you said, maybe the people who are pissed are not, but yeah, you and I, I mean, if Lil Nas X puts out a banger, Lil Nas X puts out a banger. Yep. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to be mad at it. So no, 